What is happening, guys? It's your boy, Coley Cole, and we're back with a first look of a new game that IGN did a couple days ago. It's called Disintegr Disintegration, and uh, it's a sci-fi shoot 'em up And what's interesting about this game is it has, like, a strategy feel. And, um, but if you like, like, Titanfall, you know, with the mechs and stuff, this is probably a game right for you. Now, I don't know what system this is coming out on, but I would assume that it's going to be for PC and, you know, Xbox, PS4, or PS5, whatever. So, but enough of me talking. Let's go ahead and check out this game. Hopefully, it's cool. All right, so let's go. It's cool. This game kind of reminds me definitely like Titanfall. At first glance, disintegration looks like a whole lot of ingredients from different genres stylishly mashed together. One part futuristic first-person shooter, one part action-focused airship piloting, a heavy dose of strategy elements like troop commands, ability combos, and cooldown rotations. It can seem like a lot. Hmm. So, uh, you're on an airship? And on paper, I don't look like, I feel like you're on a is, mech, a game to of me. Many different layers. You'd think those elements might clash. Precision gunplay, frantic aerial dodging, the careful issuing of orders from on high. But all those pieces, somehow, working harmoniously is what supports V1 Interactive's grand design. Going into it, I had reservations. How do I know, you this game looked kind of fun. On three axes, command a squad of troops and manage their abilities and still find the free time to gun down your robotic enemies. Five minutes after putting my hands on the controller, before I'd even finished the tutorial, really, I hit that moment where everything just clicked and while i blasted through each engagement managing my grab cycle gun triggers while marking targets for my squad while whipping sweet boosted hairpin flanks while lobbing healing Yo, and calling you know i just had a dog i hope they talk about multiplayer i was assumed you know they're going to have some multiplayer feel to it i think this game is going to really hit it off if uh you could play with other people in this game while i can't talk too much about v1 interactive story here are the very loose basics this integration takes place over a century in the future where war, Damn. famine, and a plague-like outbreak have driven humanity to the verge of collapse. To survive, humans discover a stopgap measure, a process they call integration, whereby they mm. literally transplant their brains and beings into robotic armatures to survive what? the spell. What? Yo, that's crazy. So everyone wants to eventually go back to being an organic human, a natural, as they're called. In the wake wow. of this global shift to integration, a militarized regime of integrated called the Rayon emerge. They're a global superpower, roaming the Damn, world look in their city-sized ships. Look at the graphics clouds, to this game. Hunting for humans or free-thinking integrated known as outlaws to capture and conscript. Those who won't be conscripted resist. A civil war breaks out all over the world, and that's where we pick up. Huh. We play as Romer Scholl, a grav cycle pilot look, and in fact dope. a leader of look a group those of eyes. outlaws in the smoldering husk of North America, looking to rescue and rebuild some semblance of the resistance while dodging the relentless pursuit of the Rayon. But the crux of disintegration is the grav cycle. These single seat vehicles that hover in the sky and spit shells from twin Gatling guns or pound round after round of explosive tipped heavy cannon ordnance at an endless menagerie of robotic enemies. The grav cycle is only part of your arsenal. Using your bird's eye view, you'll command your up to four person squad. Everything from assigning them locations to move to, which targets to focus on, and when and where to use their abilities. And while wow. all that may sound I'll, overwhelming, yeah, it's I was about all to say, done with the press of a button. I, which really? This integration feel I was trying so to figure out, like, these how are they going to be able to manage to shoot a whole bunch of bad guys there, and to manage a whole squad? Using concussion grenades salvos of artillery seismic aoe ground pounds and much more and they all combo with one another in some way along with your weapons for increased damage which gives you the opportunity to feel like a tactical genius when you execute the perfect stun artillery Ooh, combo against a whole ooh, that's zone, nice or get off a crucial vital necessary stun against a mammoth building size plasma spewing tank monstrosity seconds before it deletes you from existence huh. Your troops' abilities are vital because disintegration is not what I would call easy. It's easy to get overwhelmed, but that's what's really refreshing about my time playing disintegration. Oh, so this game will be hard as shit. That's what you're trying to tell us, huh? Decision making and efficiency. How best to spend each second, one second at a time. But there are many seconds to be had between the checkpoints of each long story mission. Both missions I played had me salvaging scrap for repairs and upgrades at the start. I've got the call. But things always seem to go sideways at some point, and I'd find myself defending enclaves of outlaws. 
Each mission unfolds with subplots, off-the-path exploration, secondary objectives, scripted counterattacks, and a constantly growing bestiary. Hmm, of that's good. It's going to be a lot to do that in this game. Wizardry with excellently throbbing sci-fi sound design. And between the unyielding shooting, commanding, prioritizing, and just trying to survive each mission, there's time for reflection where you get to know the cast of characters We're here to have a moment. who are humanized with unique visual touches and some top-notch emotive voice acting. Oh yeah, I found myself a tough witch. <laughs> or you can pick up challenges or just ingest some That's of funny. the fleshed out lore and world building. But before long, you're on to the next pressing mission, leveling up your grav cycle with salvage materials and trying to survive another frantic engagement in the long shadows cast by the ray arm. Once wow. you get started, there's always something you could and probably should be doing at any given second. Hmm. And I love that feeling. That's good, there's man. So this game going to keep you busy. To dive into. For my extended thoughts, you can check out my full written impressions on IGN.com. And be sure to stay tuned all month long as we dive more into the story elements. We reveal full gameplay missions and deep dive into Disintegration's awesome multiplayer suite to get you ready for an eventual beta. We're covering Disintegration oh, yeah. all month long as part of IGN First. So for more of this and everything else, keep it right here. On all right, guys. So that was IGN's first look of a new game called Disintegration. It's coming out later this year. And I got to say, the game looks freaking awesome. I love the sci-fi shoot 'em up game. So those are one of my favorite types of genres. Uh, but this is pretty different because they're adding a, a strategic feel to this game. So not only that you're going to be shooting of the enemy, you know, you're going to be also controlling a group of uh, characters, uh, commanding them to do various things throughout the game. So I think that's going to be pretty interesting to see how all that is going to tie in together, you know, on the keyboard and, and on the controller as well. They say you could do it from a touch of a button. So we'll see once the uh, the actual beta comes out for, you know, public use. But it seems like there's going to be a lot to do. Uh, they talked about that, that there's, you're going to be doing like side quests and there's like secondary missions on t top of the, you know, just the regular missions that you're going to have to do to complete this game. So, uh, so this game is going to keep you busy. Uh, they also said that it's going to be very challenging. So, cause you could get overwhelmed. So I know you are probably going to die a few times possibly. So we'll see how hard that is, but overall, I'm really looking forward to this game. Uh, I never heard of this game until now. So I know IGN is doing like a whole month of showing off gameplay and stuff like that and talking to people. So I'm going to be looking forward to checking this out. All right. So enough of me talking. Thanks for stopping by again. My name is Coley Cole. And also I do stream live on Twitch. I will leave that in the description below. So make sure you go check me out at Coley Cole dot Twitch dot TV. All right. So thank you again. And make sure you guys like and subscribe. All right. Peace out.